Board's chair says they've received positive support from their citizens, especially those who could lose their properties. But labor union leaders in Iowa say that the state has much to benefit from the plan. Like many Boone County farmers, the Hollingshead family is out harvesting their corn. Lots of valuable farmland, just like what we're standing on, could potentially have that crude oil going through it. It's also what lies beneath the land that has Boone County Supervisor Chet Hollingshead worried about the proposed Bakken pipeline. A leak from that oil spill could damage the water supply for all of us that are being supported from that water supply. So that's a concern. In January, Dakota Access filed a petition with the Iowa Utilities Board to build a crude oil pipeline. The Bakken pipeline would cut across 18 Iowa counties, including Boone, forcing landowners to give up their land through eminent domain. That's why Wednesday, the Boone County Board of Supervisors passed a resolution opposing the pipeline. No Bakken! We're talking! Like pipeline protesters have in the past, Hines had says the board wanted to make a statement to the utilities board. I hope people think about it and think about the long term impacts it will have on the state. Labor group leaders are collecting names in support of the pipeline. They say constructing the 1,100 mile long pipeline would put 400 operating engineers to work, among other benefits. This is domestic oil. We won't have to be overseas fighting for oil or, you know, Shipping on rails will be better. It's safer. A utilities board spokesman told me if the resolution becomes evidence in the record of this case, it will be considered by the board. The utilities board has yet to make a decision on the pipeline. A public comment hearing on the pipeline will begin on November 12th in Boone. In studio, Rose Heafy, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.